Wild, this is my, uh, my very first one, and uh, I just thought it would be a great experience to, um, you know, see some, uh, some life outside of the United States, see what, you know, people down here in Guatemala are dealing with on a, you know, day-to-day -day basis here in Hoyaba, and just uh, help in any way I can. It's been a, an amazing experience, it's been life-changing, and uh, I only have a few more days left here in Hoyaba, um, but I hope to help as much as I can, and uh, I can't wait to come back as soon as possible. I think for foreign missions, uh, for me, it's something to do besides helping people in, in the United States. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people really suffering in other countries, and uh, you know, God says help his people, and that's helping all people. And uh, I just feel called to be here in Guatemala to help the people here in Guatemala. Uh, Guatemala is a very beautiful uh, country uh, and we really love the people here um, even though uh, even though a lot of them seem to be in poverty they all still seem to be very hap hap they all seem to be very happy all the time beautiful and painful it's a beautiful country it's green it's full of mountains and lush uh, lakes and oceans and waterfalls, volcanoes, but then there's the harshness of the poverty. Generational poverty, maybe 500 years of poverty in the area we're at in the Mayans. Uh, it's just amazing uh, how difficult and painful people li live. And to see them to live in tin shacks made of mud, you know, with kids, no shoes, it's, it's challenging. So it's kind of a a country of two worlds, you know, both beautiful and pleasant to the eye and interesting and then yet painful to the cultures of the people. Juan Gutierrez y Gutierrez. Eh, tengo 70 años. Tenemos por todos los días con pisi chiquita. Ve como no están vivos todos los días, son los seis están vivos por todos. Pues sí, de quisiera ganar ese puro con asadón jornalera. Con eso me viví después. Aprendí un poco de carpintera, hacer mesitas, molenderas, pero basta, no fino. Y dediqué mi vida trabajando. Pues ahorita nada puedo hacer porque estoy algo golpeada. Cuando fuera bueno, pues siempre pueda trabajar todo un poco de ser mesita, pero ahorita no puede ser nada. Pues solo mi señor iba hasta un pueblo en cual los días domingo, a veces día jueves, a pedir un poco sentado con el, con el chiquete de especial que tenemos, y con eso medio pasamos. Y otras personas que han ayudado, vienen a visitar, traen un de maíz, un poco frijol, con eso estoy pasando.
I think it's the people. The people, the you see how little they have and how much joy they can still have when you compare how much we have back in the States and how miserable people seem to be. And you come here and you see how little they have and they can still find joy in it. And, and it, the people have been very welcoming to me from what I've experienced. It's been, it's been beautiful. I think the people here have changed my heart more than anything. Pues que Dios le bendiga porque tiene un buen corazón, le digo, oh, pues están ayudando a mí, yo siento que soy, no tengo nada, y, pero por la gracia de Dios y tiene un buen corazón, están ayudando a mí, que Dios le bendiga, digo yo. Oh, building something is always so rewarding because um, there's a generational impact because these buildings can be added to, they can be repainted, re-sanded, but the impact you have with the foundation is just tremendously rewarding and is evidence of that uh, service of one human to another. This is not only for right now, it's for the generations to come. Um, touching people's lives, getting them in an area um, we're working on the church that they feel comfortable where they can surrender and give their lives to Jesus, which is gonna give them life everlasting, life eternal. And that's also gonna impact generation after generation. That's what makes me happy. Hello, I am uh, Pastor Guba. It's a blessing to be over here. And, uh, and thank you for you guys always coming to this community. I know that each group is coming, uh, maybe to build houses, work with kids, and go in other churches uh, around the mountains. It's always a blessing for each family because uh, you guys means that uh, God sent you like uh, the, the arm of God to help other people and, uh, and thank you. And uh, each group, it's like I says, it's a blessing. For me, that means we, we are the, the, the body of Christ. That, that like, uh, like Paul said to Timothy, be prepared to, to do good things. And thank you because uh, you guys means too much for this community and God bless you. 
Unity. Satisfying. Bonding. I think impactful. Grueling. Awesome. <laughs> Calling. Change the rules. It's controversial. Where's mine at? Mine's right there. All right, Juan's gonna do it over. I don't know. Da da da. Da da da. Yeah, I see it now. Well, Mark, you got an escape route there. Did you know where you're going? Ah! <laughs> <laughs>